So the planet of communication, money, wealth, prosperity, writing, listening, <laughs> reading, hearing is now going to transit in the sign of Virgo, which is the exaltation sign. So I'm in drikpanchang.com here. So Mercury will transit Virgo from 1st of October to 18th, just 18 days. <laughs> well, uh, Mercury's transits can be very short sometimes, right? So, what is what, what is this transit? You know, every year Mercury transits Virgo. So, what happens? And how do you know how that this year's transit is different from the other year's transit? Okay. So, first, you have to understand what is going on currently with Mercury. Okay, so Mercury will enter Virgo. Now, Virgo is the exaltation sign and Merc it is also the own sign. So, Mercury is the only planet uh, who gets exalted in his uh, own sign. Okay. Now, what is Virgo? Virgo is uh, basically the critical side of Mercury. Okay. So, for Mercury, there are two things. Okay. One is Mercury can be very serious sometimes. Who is very serious? One who is uh, at times very calculative, you know, is thinking about his or her, uh, you could say, profits or, uh, yeah, their, their gains in life, basically, right? Gains and losses. So, Mercury has two sides, as I say, And the other side is a very happy-go-lucky side. It's like, it's like the prince, you know, he's going here, he's going there, he's doing this, he's doing that. And by that, he's experiencing life to the fullest, okay? But in another case, in case of Virgo, he's understanding life. Okay, so this is the difference between Virgo and Gemini. Virgo is the sign of understanding, okay? And uh, Gemini is the sign of expressing one's understanding sometimes. So therefore, for Virgo, there could be a challenge. Now, when I say Virgo, what, what do I mean? You know, does it mean Virgo Lagna, Virgo Moon, Virgo Sun sign? Well, not really. If you have prominent planets in Virgo, then this may work. Like, for example, if you have Sun, Moon, Lagna, Lord, you know, two or three of them. It's unlikely you will have all the three, but you might have two of them. You can have three or even more planets in Virgo. So people who have a prominent Virgo, they need to understand that they, they might have a very good understanding of life, but they might have challenges in expressing that. Or they might have challenges in understanding another person's understanding. <laughs> they may understand this world very well how the world works, people in general, but specifically one-to-one, -one, they may have difficulty understanding somebody else because that contradicts their worldview. And on the other hand, with Gemini, they can understand uh, people very well sometimes or at least pretend to. <laughs> but what they don't understand is themselves or how this world works. You know, they have a very superficial understanding of things. Apparently, you will feel, oh, a Virgo doesn't know anything. You know, Gemini knows everything. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's not the case. It's the opposite. Je Virgos are more knowledgeable in general. But you will not see that because they have hard time communicating. Because they are so much lost in this, uh, in the analytical world that they at times don't feel it's necessary to even communicate. Why should I communicate? Why is it required? <laughs> unless it's very 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 necessary you will not find them <clears throat> articulating their ideas okay so now mercury is the planet which rules both virgo and gemini but why does it get exalted in the sign of virgo why not in gemini or why not in some other sign forget other signs why not in gemini why not uh, why just in virgo because if you see, 
at a deeper level, most of the things which Mercury represents, you know, they are somewhat controlled by Gemini. Of course, Virgo also has so many things which are under Mercury. But in general, you know, communication, consulting, um, coaching, all these things come under Gemini, right? Third house, right? But what is the sixth house? And Mercury uh, rules uh, the natural sixth house and is also the Karaka for the tenth house, okay? So the sixth and tenth are actually houses of skill and practice, okay? Talent, skill, practice, you know, talent uh, is more from the fifth house, you know, talent which you already have with you. And sixth house is more of the talent that you develop with discipline and hard work. And after doing that for many, many months or years or decades, you develop some important skill. That is what gives you fame. That is what makes you famous in the first place because then you get the power to change other people's lives and that is why 10th house is the house of fame. So the 6th house can represent daily work but you may not be very skilled in doing that. The moment you become very skillful, you become very <clears throat> good at doing something, you start becoming famous which means now your 10th house is activated and that is what is Mercury's primary agenda. Because the Karakas, the Karakatwa, so Mercury is the Karaka for the 10th house. So his primary job is to give you skill and make you famous. Okay, that's his primary job. So that essentially means Mercury will transit Virgo for 18 days, 18, 19 days. So this inherently means that this is the best time for you once a year, this year it's only 18 days, <laughs> once a year, if you feel that something has not completed, something is not yet done, something is possible, you know it deep down inside but you are not doing it. You know that if you do, you can do it, finish it and you know you have to, there's no other option, right? So if you are feeling that there is some there's that extra push that you need to uh, give to yourself. Well, then now is the time. We still have a week. Okay, so prepare for one week and then from 1st of October, please implement it. And when you do this, what happens is you will actually understand that you had to actually go into depth of things. Otherwise, it will just be like, oh, uh, another passing time, you know. So if you don't go into depth of things, uh, you will not be able to utilize this Mercury transit in Virgo properly. So go into depth of things and try to figure out why are you lacking behind, lagging behind in one particular area of your life. Or it could be more than one, okay, because Mercury rules two houses. So wherever Virgo and Gemini is falling, you have to see their lordships, okay? There's, there could be something related to those houses which you will have to put more efforts. And if Mercury is, and if Gemini and Virgo is falling in your 10th house, uh, then uh, you, this is explicit uh, towards your career, profession, okay? So therefore, uh, please... See what's going on in your life. Which are the areas that Gemini and Virgo is ruling depending on your ascendant. Then try to figure out why are you not able to do things in the proper way. So educate yourself. Understand the world. Virgo is understanding the world. See other people who are successful in that regard. See other people who have made it in that area. Take guidance from them. Learn from them. Read their biography or autobiography. <laughs> Take inspiration from people who are already successful in that area. And also you could, uh, yeah, you yourself could have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, personalized uh, discussion with them. Hey, this is my situation. Uh, my dear brother, sister, friend, senior, anybody, your Shiksha Guru. Okay, what should I do in this case? Okay. So... Once you do this, you will actually realize that this transit is a phenomenal transit, okay? And now, this 
transit is more important from a professional standpoint. Why do I say this? Because I said every year uh, the transits are changing, right? What's so special about this transit? I mean, every year Mercury transits Virgo. But this year, if you see, Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius, which is the original 11th sign, right? So 11th house is again a Labastan. It is again dealing with money, finance, and all this, you know, network circles. Gemini is in trines to Aquarius, which is like, you know, uh, which is like saying the Gemini energy is very prominent already, okay? So now it is not very difficult to communicate, provided if you know how things work. So if you know how things are working, uh, it's going to be a cakewalk. So focus on learning, focus on developing skill sets and experience, okay? Do practical work. That's what is the mantra. And once you do this, then if you see Jupiter, where is Jupiter? Jupiter is in the sign of Aries, right? Jupiter is retrograde currently. And Jupiter is a very interesting plan. Because Jupiter and Mercury, you know, uh, they're like the teacher and the disciple. So because Jupiter is retrograde and in Aries, and Aries is originally dealing with uh, initiation of things, so you may have to upskill yourself, do some new certification in your career, or do something which is valued nationally, internationally, which could be certifications, or it could be something else also, not like official certification, but you know you have done something which you should have already done. Okay, so Jupiter and Saturn are actually favoring Mercury. Okay, so please upskill yourself, learn new things, and you know, not just profession, you know, if Mercury is your seventh lord, you know, then maybe you learn something about marriage, you know, how to have a good marriage, how to sustain marriage, you know, how to turn a bad marriage into good marriage, whatever, something like this. Okay, first house lord, then health, something like that, right? So please check where is Gemini and Virgo, depending on your ascendant. And after that, I'm sure you will be able to figure out. And of course, at the end, do not forget the Mahadasha and the Antardasha, okay? They will actually tell you what's going on, okay? Thank you very much for your patience. If you want a consultation from me, my website is down in the description section. And if you're new, then subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who should know what's going to happen during this transit and how to use this, okay? God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him.